What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Gold Rules 2, and I'm playing a good friend of mine came in here in this 4th gen OU match. I'm going to start off with Bronzong right away, and I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks because I am obvious and stupid. Not really stupid, that works out fine. It's going to go into Blissey, which tells me two things. Well, one of two things. Either he doesn't really care if I explode, um, and he wants my Bronzong gone because he has nothing for it, or he's trying to bait the explosion after I set up all my entry entry hazards and light screen and reflect so I decide I'll just go for one of my screens and then sorry I'm having so I just had a, a soda and again the fluent in derp is there but I'm just gonna explode on the sec on the third turn rather and uh, I don't think he cares <laughs> it didn't kill him and now right here I was really really hoping that I could do this. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt and it's going to take out the Blissey with the humiliation. Fuck! Uh, damn it. Motherfucker. Alright. <laughs> buzzkill. Hashtag buzzkill. So now I'm going to nasty plot up because I don't even give a shit anymore. Fuck my life. I couldn't kill it. I just wanted to kill Blissey with a plusle. And what do I get? A bunch of horse shit. So, he's going to T-wave me. And I don't really give a shit. I should have hit Power Ice or Grass, not a deer predicting a ground type. But I didn't because I suck. And now this Gliscor is just going to troll me with Earthquake. So, we were we were streaming this battle, and uh, at this point, the entire stream exploded, exploded. The Zat just 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 overloaded, bullshit with bullshit. Like, I <laughs> plus lives the earthquake from a, a Gliscor, Gliscor, whatever you want to say, and fires off a hidden power ice and kills it. Uh, right here, I went for curse as he close combated. I was hoping that I could uh, that I could live, and uh, it would do like about half, and I could get off one, and then I could just go for an earthquake, take it out, and just have a plus one curse at like a quarter health. Why not? But instead, he does too much, and fuck it. This Galate was giving me fits. I had nothing for it that I really wanted to go into. Um, but plusle. <laughs> This really, like, this battle, I feel like I kind of got rolled the whole time. Um, I was trying to find a good time to switch into Mama Gubs, who you'll see later. But, uh, oh man. So, <laughs> I'm going to go to the Thunderbolt here on the on the, uh, on the the Gallade, but he does switch out. Uh, I knew a Thunderbolt would kill because he had minus special defense. Um, minus one special defense. So, I'm just going to go out to Humiliator. He's going to stop. Well, the fuck you, came in. You're an asshole. So, um, he is going to, he is going to soft-boiled up, get up his blissy back up to full health, and I want to punch it in the motherfucking face. And then he's going to size up toss and kill me. So now he's got this giant troll face on. Look at that fucking smile. Asshole. He's going to size up toss after he T-waves, and I'm just going to get up some toxic spikes. I figured that will help out my T-tar when I need some damage. Um, and I'm trying to sweep. That will help me out. Maybe I can get some stuff with that. So, 
Um, right now, my only my only real hope left in this battle. Sorry if there's a little mic mic static right there. I had to uh, move my mic, but my only real chance in this battle, I feel, is to set up my uh, my my Tyranitar. Hope he doesn't have Scissor, and just because it is a Dragon Dance. Mama Gubs is a Dragon Dance Tyranitar. Hope to God he doesn't have scissor or any priority that can really, really hurt me. And just go from there. So right here, it's, just, it's kind of a stall war. I'm just trying to get as much damage on Blissey as I can. So that I was I was really hoping that I could come in next turn with Tyranitar and scare it off with the possibility of a, you know, a Scarf whatever. I mean, a Scarf Stone Edge, maybe. I don't think it would kill, but, I mean, that would do a solid chunk, so... I don't know if he wants to take that. But instead, I decided to go into Zapdos Dose because I thought, he's at too high of a health, he won't switch out, and I really need him to switch out. I can't get too weak by Ty with Tyranitar, or I will lose the battle. Um, so now, he's just going to go for the S-Toss. Uh, so I, I really... I'm just going to kind of sit in here and T-Bolt until he switches. Um, I really, right here, right here I should have said, he's going to switch now. And I should have gone to T-Tar, um, but it doesn't really matter in the end because uh, he goes out to Swampert, which it's probably better that I'm in here with, with this guy. Um, so now I'm going to Roost, and just just to make the safe play, hopefully, he, I, I mean, I know I'm going to be slower than him, he won't go, be able to go for the ice Earthquake and hit me. I knew the Ice Punch was coming, but I figured I could probably take it out with the Thunderbolt, which I do. And um, here comes Azelf, uh, which is going to get the pair of hacks. And then he was being very nice and generous, and he decided to go what the fuck boom on me. And now, coming straight direct from the kitchen, we flew in Mama Gubs from Phoenix, well, kind of Phoenix. Glendale, Arizona, we flew her in, and here she is, in all her glory, she's gonna take that like a beast, get a DD up, and she's gonna earthquake the shit out of that Agron. Out of the kitchen, not making sandwiches anymore, bitches, gonna crunch the damn Swampert, not even gonna take it out, plus one, so I got fucked. And I lost, because Kamen is a monster, and my team sucked dick, and I brought a Plusle, alright? And it killed something, so I'm fine. I can take that loss and be proud because that was fucking awesome. So thank you everybody um, for watching. Uh, thank you, Cayman, for an awesome battle. I, I shall link you in the uh, in the description. I do believe Cayman wanted to post his side of this. I don't think. I mean, I have to give him my footage of the battle, so. Um, I'll find a way to get it to him, but I think over Skype, but yeah, I mean, that's that's really all I gotta say, so thank you guys for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed, I'm, I know I'm gonna do the Anamana Gucci music, I hope I said that right, um, because people seem to enjoy that, so I'm gonna try to do a lot of their music from now on, because it doesn't give me copyright strikes, and I can get away with it, so, um, I like it, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's about all I got for you guys today. Look out for a Pokemon Pit beta upload. Uh, look out for a possible Gengar's Galaxy upload. And uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to one of my good friends, Mike1217. He deserves a lot more subs. Thanks. Oh, oh okay. I forgot this is not a Daredevil run. This shouldn't be too hard. I thought you had to do the whole galaxy. And, like, I thought there were going to be uh, clocks you had to pick up. Apparently, it's just a speedrun boss.